This video is going to show you how to solve a recoil style problem using conservation of momentum. So to begin with, I've got my potato cannon. It's going to shoot a potato one way, and then the cannon itself is going to travel in the other way off the table. The potato cannon is shot such that the cannon travels to the right at 5 meters per second. The question is, how fast is the potato traveling? First thing I need to do is identify the concept I'm going to apply. So I'm going to use conservation of momentum. So I'll write it as the sum of the momentums before the, anything happens equals the sum of the momentum after any, um, our interaction in this case or the explosion going on inside the cannon. Then I'll look at it and apply it with my math formulas. So to begin with, I've got the potato and the cannon both sitting at rest, so they're combined as one body. So I'll write that as the sum of the mass of the potato plus the mass of the cannon times their the velocity. After the explosion, I've got them separating apart so I have the mass or the momentum of the potato plus the momentum of the cannon. In other words, mass of the potato, velocity of the potato, plus the mass of the cannon times the velocity of the cannon. Then I plug in my numbers. And when I put in my numbers, I'm going to put everything going to the right as being positive. So I'm going to follow just typical math class conventions, saying stuff going to the right, velocity is going to the right, will be positive. So in this case, all my numbers are positive. Notice too at the beginning on the left hand side, it's at rest, so the velocity is zero. Do a little bit of math and then I get my answer to be negative 20.36 meters per second. So that makes sense because velocity has direction and the negative sign means it's going the opposite direction of the pipe, which in this case means to the left. 